Hello and welcome. The entire team of Indian Times Daily wishes you a very happy Holi. You're logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for global Indians. We broadcast news from India, Canada, Punjab, and Gujarat in English, Punjabi, and Gujarati languages. And our portal and apps have a list of well-established businesses and resources that every global Indian needs. I'm Ria Mohanty, and today's headlines are: India has rejected Pakistan's charge on the Samjhota blast verdict. Conservatives have triggered a marathon voting sessions in the House of Commons. CM Amrinder Singh has urged citizens to celebrate Holi with unity and brotherhood. India will actively pursue the extradition of fugitive diventer Nirav Modi from UK. Premier Doug Ford did not break rules to hire an Ontario Provincial Police Commissioner. And valuables worth rupees 64.60 crore have been seized in Punjab. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, Canada and Punjab. For detailed news and business updates of the Indo-Canadian community, download the Indian Times Daily app. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are Close on the heels of Pakistan registering a protest on the Samjhota Express blast verdict. An Indian government source has said that due process of law was followed in the case. At least 68 people, mostly Pakistan nationals, were killed in the 2007 blast. India has also called for expeditious trial by Pakistan in the 26-11 Mumbai terror attack. The Ministry of External Affairs has welcomed the arrest of fugitive Diamantur Nirav Modi by the UK and The Ministry of External Affairs has welcomed the arrest of fugitive Diamantur Nirav Modi by the UK and asserted that India will actively follow up the matter for his extradition. A London court has rejected Modi's bail plea and directed that he remains in custody till March 29. He is accused of supporting of Rs 13,500 crore from Punjab National Bank. India has signaled that it will boycott China's Second Belt and Road Forum for a second time, saying that no country can participate in an initiative that ignores its core concerns on sovereignty and territorial integrity. The controversial CPEC is being laid through Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, overriding New Delhi's sovereignty concerns. Hitting out at the Congress, PM Narendra Modi has said that the opposition's Chokidar Chor Hai campaign had insulted all the watchmen of the country as the task of the dynast is to spread hatred. He said that vested interests were indulging in misinformation campaign targeting the watchmen as they wanted to abuse him. BSP chief Mayawati has announced that she will not contest the Lok Sabha polls, which is slated to be held between April 11 and May 19. However, Mayawati made clear that she can contest for the Lok Sabha later if she wants. Congress President Rahul Gandhi has attacked PM Narendra Modi on the loss of 27,000 jobs every single day of 2018 due to the politics of the NDA government. He said that the India's PM is a joke. The Congress and the National Conference have announced an alliance in Jammu and Kashmir for the Lok Sabha polls. They stated that it was in national interest and would help strengthen secular forces. Life came to a grinding halt on Wednesday in Kashmir Valley. This is due to a strike called by separatists against the death of principal of a private school, Rizwan Asad Pandit, in police custody. Security has also been beefed up along Shrinagar Jammu National Highway to prevent any protests. The special teams of Hyderabad police have busted an international human trafficking racket by arresting 15 people including illegal travel agents, a police constable and two from airlines. The special team so far identified as many as 100 illegal travel agents involved in the racket. The Communist Party of India has pointed out that the release of the biopic of Prime Minister Narendra Modi during the polls will influence the voting pattern and violate the model code of conduct. It has written to the Election Commission to stall the release of the film PM Narendra Modi till the polls are over. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from Punjab and Canada follows. 
I was living my dream and had a happy life. One day, everything changed. I was overwhelmed with chronic pain and depression, and I was struggling to get my disability benefits. All I wanted was the assurance of my insurance company that I would get paid, but they didn't. We decided to approach a trusted law firm in the community, thanks to Kotec Law. Not only did I get my long-term disability settlement in no time, I got my confidence back to carry on with life, too. We are your trusted disability lawyers. At Kotec Law, we will fight to ensure that you get the benefits you deserve. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are CM Amrinder Singh and Governor VP Singh Badnor have greeted the people on the occasion of Holi. Singh has also given a call for celebrating the traditional Indian festival with the colors of unity, tolerance, brotherhood and compassion. Enforcement teams have seized valuable worth rupees 64.63 crore in violation of the code besides confiscating unaccounted cash till March 18, 2019. The seizures were made after the Model Code of Conduct came into force in the state in view of the Lok Sabha polls. SAD President Sukhbir Singh Badal has demanded registration of a criminal case against Congress MP Santok Singh Chaudhary. Badal alleged that Chaudhary asked people to fund his election campaign, promising them handsome return. PP President Sukhpal Singh Khera has played the state of ignoring the demands of cane growers who are forced to continue their agitation. Kera said that the Chief Minister had promised to pay the arrears of payment of cane growers for the last year. The CBI has termed the killings of Sikhs during the 1984 riots as a crime against humanity. It has also linked the horrible incident with mass extermination of Jews by Nazis. Mass killing of Bangladeshis by the Pakistan Army and killing of Armenians by Kurds and Turks. The special investigation team has decided to question Dera Sacha Soda, Chief Kurmeet Ram Rahim in connection with the Behbal Kalan and Kot Kapura police firing incident. It has also sought the court's permission to interrogate him. CM Amrinder Singh has directed the Defence Services Welfare Department to extend financial assistance of Rs 12 lakh to the family of Sapoy Karamjeet Singh. He was killed by Pakistani troops in Rajori district of Jammu and Kashmir on Monday. The NGT has directed the state to check the menace of river pollution in a time-bound manner. It also fixed a deadline of one month and will undertake spot inspection of vulnerable points to evaluate the progress. IPL franchise Kings Eleven Punjab has donated Rs 5 lakh each to the families of five CRPF soldiers who were martyred in February's Pulwama terror attack. The five CRPF Javans who lost their lives were from Punjab and Himachal Pradesh. A model and former Miss World India, Natasha Suri, known for her role in popular web series Inside Edge, has currently shot for a sassy music video with Punjabi singer Jazzy B and legendary Apache Indian. The music video is one of a kind and it promises to raise the bar higher for the music industry. I'll be back. Stay locked on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Canada follows. Welcome back to IndianTimesDaily.com and the top 10 headlines from Canada are The House of Commons is engaged in a marathon voting session upset with the government's handling of the SNC-Lavalin affair. Today is one of the Conservatives' opposition days, meaning they can set the agenda and the topic for debate and trigger a long continuous round of voting. An Integrity Commissioner's report into the appointment of Ontario Premier Doug Ford's close friend as the province's top cop has found that he did not break any rules. Toronto Police Superintendent Ron Taverner was hired as Ontario Provincial Police Commissioner. Ottawa will soon start collecting data on every person leaving Canada by land and air in a bid to identify and track anyone from potential terrorists to snowbirds who lie about their residency. The new measures are expected to take effect later this year. The Liberal-dominated Justice Committee pulled the plug on its probe of the SNC-Lavalin affair. 
prompting opposition outrage and a walkout by MPs during the budget presentation. Tory leader Andrew Scheer accused PM Justin Trudeau of thumbing his nose at Canadians. Ottawa is expected to sink deeper into the red this year as the Liberal government plans to spend a windfall of new revenue. The federal budget predicts a deficit of $19.8 billion for 2019 to 2020, including a $3 billion contingency fund. Canada has planned to spend an additional $1.2 billion over five years to stem the flow of irregular migrants from the US, which has become a political threat to the Liberal government. Some 57,000 asylum seekers crossed the US border into Canada last year. The Liberals' new budget promises a new agency to buy drugs in bulk and cut Canadian medication costs, the first step towards a national drug plan. The government is also promising to spend $500 million a year starting in 2022, just on subsidizing drugs that treat rare diseases. Faced with an anxious dairy industry poised to complicate the federal election, the Liberals are reviving the previous Conservative government's compensation plans between trade agreements already in effect and the unratified USMCA. The plan will bring relief to the industry. The Senate's ethics officer has said that Senator Lynn Bayak violated the Upper Chamber's conflict of interest code by posting racist letters about indigenous people on her website. Pierre Legault said that Bayak's conduct did not uphold the highest standards of dignity required of a senator. First Nations and cities that have seen damaging oil spills are supporting British Columbia's efforts to require permits for companies transporting hazardous substances through the province. The BC Court of Appeal is hearing a reference case that asks whether the province can create such a system. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-Canadian businesses and resources. From accounting firms to wedding planners in your city, all of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Immigration Terminal, the specialist for visitor visa, student visa, business immigration, family sponsorship, work permits, PNP programs, living caregivers and LMIA applications. Highly experienced in cases involving criminal or medical admissibility and previously refused or misrepresentation cases. Call 416-675-5666 in Ontario or 778-927-3455 in BC. Email us at info at immigrationterminal.ca. Immigration Terminal, right consultants, right future. The makers of Bhuj, The Pride of India have finally revealed the cast of the film. Actors Pariniti Chopra, Sanjay Dutt, Sonakshi Sinha, Ranada Kupati and Ami Work have joined Ajay Devgan to play significant roles in the film. Earlier this week, Ajay had announced via social media that he will play Indian Air Force Wing Commander Vijay Karnik in an upcoming film. Now, T-Series head on to Pushan Kumar, who is co-producing the movie, welcome the entire cast on board writing. Welcome the stellar cast of Bhuj, The Pride of India. Ajay Devgan, Sanjay Dutt, Pariniti Chopra, Sonakshi Sinha, Pranada Kupati and Ami Work. Written and directed by Abhishek Dudhaya. Actress Pariniti Chopra has called the film the most special true story ever. Pariniti on Wednesday tweeted, the most special story ever. Directed and written by Abhishek Dudhaya, the film is based on real life events during Indo-Pak War of 1971. Karnik was in charge of the Bhuj Air Base during the war, which remained operational despite facing heavy bombing from Pakistan. An injury can change a sports person's career graph overnight and not many would know that better than India and Sunrisers Hyderabad wicketkeeper Riddhi Mansaha. From being a test regular to watching Risham Pant take the coveted spot after the Bengal stumper suffered a shoulder injury, Saha has seen it all. Speaking to INS, Saha not only acknowledged the fact that Pant has grabbed his opportunity with both hands but also said that he always believes that the team is the priority and the success of the team comes before individuals. Back in the thick of the things, Saha wants to go out and showcase his talent all over again in the 12th edition of the Indian Premier League starting March 23. Saha said, injuries can come at any time and someone will come in and as replacement and look to give it his best and Pant has done just that. The Bengal stumper said the team is the priority and that he wanted the team to do well. Acknowledging that Pant has proved himself, he said it is now up to the selectors to decide how they are looking at things going forward. Actress Alia Bhatt says she worked really hard for Kalang's song Ghar Mori Pardesia as she had performed classical number for the first time on screen. 
The song featuring Madhuri Dixit Nene and Varun Dhawan and Alia Bhatt has already got 18 million views on YouTube. Talking about the overwhelming response, Alia said, "Dupair tak to chauda tha." Uh, हाँ तो ना आई एम वेरी हैप्पी आई वर्क वेरी हार्ड ऑन दिस सॉन्ग तो मैं एक्चुअली काफ़ी नर्वस थी मेरे लिए ऐसा फीलिंग हो रहा है कि ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द फिल्म इज़ रिलीज नाउ आई कैन लाइक काम डाउन अब बेट हो जाए फिल्म रिलीज होगी तब मैं फिर से नर्वस हो जाऊँगी बट या आई एम क्वाइट एक्साइटेड स्टारिंग आलिया भट्ट माधुरी दीक्षित नैने संजय दत्त वरुण धवन सोनाक्षी सिन्हा एंड आदित्य रॉय कपूर इन पाइबल रोल द टीजर ऑफ द फिल्म हैज़ ऑलरेडी रिलीज डायरेक्टर बाई अभिषेक वर्मन द फिल्म इज लेटेड टू हिट थिएटर्स इन सेवनटीन अप्रिल टू Accountant. A team of highly professional accountants. We deliver quality and immeasurable assistance to our clients. For Canada audit assistance and your business loans, the only name you can trust. A professional accountant always makes a difference. For more information, call us at four one six seven four one zero eight zero one, or visit us at scansaccountants dot com.